middle of the journey. Round three. In the round of true or false, I'll present to each school a statement. Then you tell me whether the statement is true or false. Correct answer merits two points. Wrong answer penalty of one. So a school can decide not to answer. Any other school can ring for it with two four points. Or you carry a penalty of one when you answer the bonus wrongly. Or the best. I start with Sunrise Christian High. Germanium is classified as a metal. Yes? False. Yes, it's false. Bishop Herman, vanadium is classified as a metal. Yes? True. Yes, it's true. Mauli, arsenic is classified as a metal. False. Yes, it's false. Sunrise. Preamble first. Given the hydrogen halides, H, X, where X may be F, B, R, C, L, and I. Now sunrise. The aqueous solution of all H, X are acidic. Yes? True. Yes, it's true. Bishop Herman, H-I is the most acidic. Yes? True. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Mauli, the boiling point increases steadily down the group. True. No, it's a false statement. Sunrise. The protein coat of viruses that enclose the genetic material is called viron. Yes? False. Yes, it's false. Bishop Herman. The protein coat of viruses that enclose the genetic material is called peplomes. Yes? False. Okay, yes. Mauli? The protein coat of viruses that enclose the genetic material is called capsomes. True. No, it's a false statement. <laughs> Sunrise. Listen to the preamble, all of you. Indicate whether the following are true or false with respect to hemophilia. So now to you, Sunrise. It is a type of autosomal recessive disorder. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Bishop Herman, according to the genetic inheritance pattern, the unaffected career mother passes on the hemophilic genes to the son. Yes? True. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Mauli. It is a very rare type of disease among males because for a male to get the disease, the mother should either be hemophilic or a carrier, but the father should be hemophilic. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Sunrise Christian High. Electromagnetic waves obey an inverse square law. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Four. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Bishop Herman. Electromagnetic waves and vacuum travel at same speed. Yes? True. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Mauli. The electric part of an electromagnetic wave obeys Coulomb's law. Yes? False. Yes, it's false. Sunrise. Preamble is two objects collide. Two objects collide. Sunrise. Newton's third law does not apply in the given situation because the objects were moving before the collision occurred. Yes? False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Bishop Herman. Newton's third law is not needed in this situation. What is needed is the law of conservation of linear momentum. Yes? False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Mauli School. Newton's third law applies in the given situation. It is the foundation for the law of conservation of linear momentum, which applies in this case. True. Yes, it's true. Back to you, Sunrise. If a pentagon has five sides, then the sum of its angles is 500 degrees. Yes? False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Bishop Herman. If the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is four right angles, then it is a rectangle. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Mauli. If the sum of the angles of a triangle is 150 degrees, then it has two obtuse angles. False. Oh, it is a true statement. Okay, the last set. Sunrise Christian High. Log 625 equals four. Four. Yes, it's four. <laughs> Bishop Herman. Six hundred and twenty-five base five equals four. Yes. True. Yes, it's true. Mauli. Log 32 base 2 equals 6. Yes? False. Yes, it's false. The end of the third round.